About eight years ago, whistleblowers from within the US government released the drone papers. These leaks revealed the large scale assassination program that the US had been carrying out around the globe, especially in the continent of Africa. We found that President Barack Obama had increased drone strikes around 300% and nearly 90% of people killed by US drones were not the intended targets, meaning civilians and people who the US had no legal right to be murdering. Famously, President Obama drone striked a wedding in Yemen, turning it from one of the happiest moments of these people's lives to an absolute tragedy. But Obama has done next to nothing to atone or apologize for his crimes, and today his reputation and image have been rehabilitated by the American corporate media. Here's Obama trying to defend his drone program before its giant scale and illegal nature was revealed to the American public. Simply put, these strikes have saved lives. Moreover, America's actions are legal. We were attacked on 9-11. Within a week, Congress overwhelmingly authorized the use of force. Under domestic law and international law, the United States is at war with Al-Qaeda, the Taliban, and their associated forces. First of all, many of the drone strikes were in fact illegal under international law, so that's nothing but a bold-faced lie. It's also interesting seeing Obama use the exact same justification that was used by Republican President George W. Bush to invade Iraq. Invoking 9-11 to argue that it gives the U.S. legal immunity to do whatever we want and kill whoever we want anywhere around the world. Confusingly, he also says that he should be allowed to drone strike weddings because we're at war with Al-Qaeda and the Taliban which are two groups that actually don't like each other and have never had any kind of alliance against the U.S. in the past. Al-Qaeda is also a splinter group of the Mujahideen who the United States heavily funded and armed throughout the 1980s. So it's absurd to argue that Al-Qaeda and the Taliban's existence gives the U.S. the right to drone strike whoever they want. And this is just Obama making excuses for what he knows are horrific crimes. The same way every imperialist American president has for the last 70 years at least.